This is where they can profit. They normally try and drop these on the near post. You see uh, Jorgensen in there, right on the near post, alongside Bieland, who's also there. Jorgensen jumps, and it's in. No goal. It's an own goal off the defender. Jorgensen jumped for it. They're going to congratulate him, but Kone is the man who's looking a bit sheepish. I think it made it come off base, but the definitely players jump in there. Lots of bodies in front of the near post. Decent service in. And the, the two big centre-backs, they just are so difficult to pick up. Here we see the service coming in. It is Kone, it does come off him. Base is behind him. Did he really call? Two players there, you've got to deal with it. Keeper's just almost coming for the ball. Tell you what, they've been trying to drop that ball onto Jorgensen's head in every game they play. They've never managed to get a delivery as good as that. Well, he's smiling. Well... He might. They really have been second best in this game so far. It should have been a goal down. Find themselves a goal up. Can they build in that? There's Kirimbala. Drive you mad, drive you mad as a coach that. Kim Keepers oh, not cool. no. Kirimbala's going to get in here. Bhutan waiting to receive the ball back again. Bhutan there, and it's in. And it's twice the Danes have done that. Did it in the previous game. So, did he get a touch off of Biela before it went in? Doesn't matter, Butas celebrating, and it's a disaster for Denmark. But how many times have they done that? It's Biela again, on that occasion, he was the one. The pass back was dreadful. Keeper was there, no problem. He's got his head down at the moment. Let's give credit to this man. Took it away, took it away from the goalkeeper. Kept his composure, got there. Keeper half-stopped it. I see. Well, just crossed the line. But it was a back pass from the big centre-back. That gave him all the problems. The big skipper, on that occasion, didn't get it right. And that's why I think the French have looked at it. They want to encourage these two at the back to have it. They know they've got a problem, and they can't play through the middle of the park. And you can see now, they're just not comfortable with it. Back it goes then to Anderson. Flick on by Ling. Billy Nielsen off of base. I think it's no less than the French deserve, to be honest with you. I do think that they have been the better side. Gway to it. Lum. Billy Nielsen. Fredriksen is on the overlap. And he's in here now. Fredriksen, can he set it up? Nielsen! Very good goal from the Danes. Better than very good. Better than very good. Got the cartwheel in the ring in. Fantastic goal. What a wonderful finish. Good pass, good movement. Strong run from Fredrickson. We'd asked for more from him. He was strong, he was powerful. His layoff was the right selection of pass. And Billy Nielsen, fantastic finish. Side foot, just caressed the ball. Bottom left hand corner. Here we see it. Keeper simply no chance. Excellent goal. How many times have we said it? So many wonderful goals in this competition. And that there's right up with the, the top goals. France got to come from behind again here. Real test for them. Remember, it is worth pointing out that uh, this isn't the first choice selection uh, for the French. They've got a couple of under-21 teams out. This is the second one. The A team is over in South America. I was just about to say that before that goal went in. It's, it's not a bad collection, is it? Well, he's a gymnast as well, Billy Nielsen. He, he, is a, he certainly is a live wire. Yeah. Fan, concentrate, and when they get the ball, keep the ball, break a little bit quickly. Again, a little shirt tug from Lum. Now, Kirimbala's in, and 2-2. Two -two. No more than they deserve, the French. That oh, was fantastic play. The Xavi was the player, I think, who took the ball across. Beautiful control. Had to look and see what the pass was. Kinnabala stayed on side. Very difficult for him. He stayed on side. He hung on the back player. The ball was slid down the right hand side. Here we see the run. Just lovely pass. There's Brahimi as well involved. Lovely pass. Look, little reverse pass. Brahimi, not the greatest back line, but he got there. And what a finish. Terrific finish. You feel now the momentum with the French. Fenger Nielsen, Schneiderlin with the interception. 
Well, you spoke about little Brahimi. He's one of those players can either lift you out of your seat or... And toward base, skims off the top of his head, base fighting his way in there. Now there's a little shirt tug there on Billy Nielsen. Nielsen's in here. Oh, the keeper's miles away. Nielsen! What a great goal from the Danes. Whatever was going through the mind of Turam then. Well, it was just a wally up the park, but take nothing away from Billy Nielsen. Strong, committed. Snydlin was also a little bit lucky. He was the last man. He pulled the shirt, but the referee allowed play to carry on, and you're right. Turam, I don't know what he was thinking about, but you've got to say, Billy Nielsen did well. He kept calm, took it past him, had a little angle, looked at the goals, just rolled the ball in. Good finish, got to say, and he has worked his socks off, and, well, the game has just gone back and forward. You thought it was really with the French now. They've got to come again, the French. What a 